Alright, time for the finals. Um, this round is perfectly acceptable. Uh, this round's opponent is playing the other black white deck that made it to the semis. So, apparently, black white is the best archetype for the time being, at least. Um, he started out with Eagle Spellbomb and we had our Fume Splitter. Um, I think, yeah, we drew the uh, Fume Splitter to make our starting hand even better than it was. I think this will be. It is almost as good as it could be. Won't do that just yet. Um, if he trades, it's fine. If he doesn't trade, then I can kill it later on. He should know that he won't get any damage due to me. With his Ikatomu, it's going to die to the Fume Spitzer sooner or later. And I prefer sooner. I want to have as few infect creatures as possible on on uh, the battlefield. Um, I'm just going to play the harness and nothing else. Next turn I can play Reaver, Equip, Bash for four, unless something else happens to pop on to his side of the board. I don't mind taking these, uh, this beat once, or even twice. Having double grasp of darkness makes me a bit sure that I won't be dying very soon. Acolyte, I don't mind me having that. If I get the chance, and yeah, it, it all depends on what's happening this on his turn. I might actually play Song Lost Angel next turn, even though it. It loses me my proper mirror. Lo and behold, my fume spitter has been exiled from my graveyard. It's actually been, this was quite a good start on our side of the board, being able to get rid of his Ica Claw as we did. I'm not sure, still not sure if he's playing a real Infect deck or not, but yeah, it's fine either way. So he's going all out to kill our side of the board. Now if we can just draw, draw a couple more lands then we should be able to wipe his side of the board as well. Or skin render. Skin render works fine. We've had really good draws with our removal spells. Having drawn double grasp of darkness so many times. I feel a bit sad for his sake, but this hand, I think it's very hard to defeat it. Even though he's got two grasps of his, ho his, his own, I don't feel very threatened by his one damage a turn. The 
Okay, thumbs up. It's fine. Unfortunately, he's also killed the four of our creatures that we had with his uh, or rather we killed one of his creatures, but he's managed to kill our offensive and we do need to draw some things quite soon because sensor plus containing class it's it's shocking us every turn unless he does the mistake of removing the removing the last counter. So I'm actually going to kill this Grasp of Darkness, seeing as we have another Grasp in hand. Because it buys us a couple of extra turns. Skifix. He's dead as well. I could have played the Wolshop Replica Attraction. That's right, harnessed and bashed, and that might have been the better play, actually, because that way I would have. Okay, he didn't get anything else. I could have taken those for damage, not for not having to worry. Now we are going to start our attack on his life total. He's got us on a 5 turn clock, we've got him on a 4 turn clock. So hopefully we'll be able to pull this off unless he's unless he draws out of it. It's, it's good for us that this doesn't actually suck life, it only takes away life. If he'd gained life as well, it would have made it so much better. So it would have made it so much more unfair. But as it is, it's just shocking, for, you know, shocking us every time. He's got something in hand, that much for sure. But what it is, we might never know. Yes, he's going to play something. Maybe. No. And still in faction. Too bad we can't play that just yet. Okay, so that what he had in, on hand cost three and he couldn't afford to lose that momentum. It is a tight game, so I don't blame him for that, but it might cost him the, the game. Not being able to play what he's got on hand. No! Oh my god! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh, we should have played the other replica and equipped. So stupid. And here comes the Sentinel. Um, yeah. Uh, let's see here. Let's see here, what happens here? He, he can't uh, blame me this turn. And then he can attack and drain me and drain me again. So the next time he untaps, whether or not this has counters on it, we're dead. But we, I'm still going to instill that in hopes of drawing something. Hmm, yeah. Where 
are digging for answers. As hard as we can. Uh, let's see, is that enough for next turn? I wonder. Let's see here. It costs three to play, one to equip, and yes. We might actually pull this off. Because we don't die this turn, we die next turn. No, it's got vigilance bastard. Uh, we can't really pull that off, can we? Ah, <sighs> that's annoying. Yeah, I forgot about that. Oh. Ah, uh, yeah, the side as well. Okay, we were close, but the sentinel got us. Um, against this deck, you do need artifact destruction, which is something we don't have. Um, Wayfarer will get in though to block his ground guys, uh, cutting one of the replicas this time as well. Grasshopper stays in Weavers. Yeah, I think our hope is to get one of our big guys. Our flyers out into play and then drive that onto it victory or have a really quick start. Both of us uh, got into a bit of a stalemate, but he had his inevitability on board. Mm. I actually think that Christograph should be in instead of the Catholic as well. This way we can block his sentinel if need be, and we also got an unblockable guy. 